This is News 10 at 9. And welcome back to News 10 at 9. I'm Kiba Arnold. And I'm Jeff Maher in for Dan Elliott this morning. You know, this weekend I was in Denver. Yes. And you should have seen the Rocky Mountains just covered in snow. Ooh. And I was telling my parents, uh, Rob, you know, California would kill to have just some of that snow melt. We need it. We really need it. You know, it would really uh, turn things around for us. It would at least help, but uh, I just don't see anything in the cards. However, I do think that we're going to get a little bit of snow by early tomorrow morning. Rob, thanks. In Washington today, a move that would certainly increase tensions between the U.S. and China. The Justice Department announced charges against five Chinese military officers. It says spied on American businesses to get an economic advantage. Let's get the latest from ABC News' Karen Travers. The charges are unprecedented. This is a case alleging economic espionage by members of the Chinese military. An activist group says the death toll in the Syrian conflict has exceeded 160,000 people. That number comes from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, and the count started with the fighting in March of 2011. The total includes civilians, rebels, and military members from both sides of the conflict. The United Nations stopped updating its death tally in Syria, saying it can no longer verify the sources of information. Their last count was one. 100,000, and that was back in July. Top stories making headlines across the U.S. AT&T has agreed to buy satellite TV provider DirecTV for $48.5 billion. The deal would affect 25 million television subscribers and create the second largest U.S. cable provider. The biggest is Comcast. The inevitable concern for cable users is the idea that these new powerhouse companies could take control of all of our screens. With that consolidation and that reduction of competition, we see fewer things happening and prices mostly going up for consumers and subscribers. AT&T says the acquisition could mean a plus for consumers, that being a new bundle offer. The deal still needs approval from the FCC and the antitrust regulators at the Department of Justice. And today is a big day in Oregon, where a federal judge is expected to rule on the constitutional challenge to the state's gay marriage ban. The Democratic Attorney General in Oregon refused to defend the ban, and the judge denied a request by the National Organization for Marriage to defend the law on behalf of Oregon. State officials have said same-sex marriages could start almost immediately if that ban is overturned. In your health, a third case of MERS has been confirmed in the U.S., but this person did not travel to the Middle East. Yeah, apparently he was infected after spending less than one hour with one of the first two infected patients, and that has doctors concerned. It has us concerned too. This morning we're joined by Dr. Richard Besser, ABC's chief health and medical editor, to help us understand. Uh, doctor, thanks for joining us again. And if you can just start by telling us about this latest case and what it means for the spread of MERS. Yeah, so this latest case, as you said, was acquired by spending less than an hour with the, with the first individual from, from Indiana who had MERS. And Dr. Besser, you know, when the flu peaks around January and February, we see people breaking out the hand sanitizer. They may even avoid handshakes and avoid people altogether. MERS has not reached that level just yet, but I'm just wondering, in your opinion, if this continues to spread, if we're going to see that response from the public at some point, because I think it's on their radar now, but has hasn't reached that level of concern yet. Yeah, I mean, just re just last week there was a call for for uh, handshakes to be done away with in, in hospitals and other healthcare settings. Always a wealth of information. Thank you, yes. Dr. Besser. Well, we want to let you know that the vote has happened, and we're talking about California Chrome. The horse will be able to wear yes. his nasal strips for the <laughs> Belmont Stakes. The three stewards at Belmont Park today voted unanimously to awesome. allow the nasal strips for all horses effective immediately. This means California Chrome will be allowed to wear those strips when he goes for the Triple Crown on June 7th. Chrome's trainer contacted the stewards to request permission and they reached out to a vet for advice. So we can confirm that and the horse is good to go. We got someone to cheer for. Yes, we do. Or something to cheer. Yeah, oh, well, we're gonna be yeah. cheering for him. Okay, yeah. so it's been a long held belief that working for various employers over a short period of time carries that negative stigma. Well, according to a new survey, maybe not anymore. When looking for a new job, it has always seemed to be looked down upon if you wanted to be seen as a credible candidate. I think the economy is a factor oh, definitely. in that survey is that it's more acceptable. I was just 
just reading an article today about how contracted workers is really the wave of the future because A, employers are seeing that they don't have to pay full time with benefits Good if point. they can get contracted right. workers and B, you have workers that are out of work so they're going to take whatever they can get. Yeah. So cool. I can see why it's not a stigma anymore. Well, Rob, as we bring you in on this, also in this business, you used to want to at least stay for a whole contract cycle, mm -hmm. two or three years, and if you're at one station one year, the next the next year, it kind of uh, rose a red flag. Right, exactly, you're a flight risk. And then Wednesday, we get back closer to average into the 80s, and then back to 90 degrees wow. by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The good news, we're not talking triple digits, but it is gonna be hot again by this mm. upcoming weekend. You need to add some more blue drops to that graphic, because I only saw one, one I know. little blue drop. You can't cheat it. Small chance. Th that's all that's I got all for you get. right now. You know, I think we could add as many as you want for the higher elevations, foothills, mountains, they're gonna get some rain over the next couple of days. It was a little bit iffier uh, in the valley here, but you know, again, uh, just an increased likelihood that we could see a little bit of rain here in Sacramento that just came out from the Weather Service. We'll take what we can get. Okay. Okay, yeah, after the break, you're still going to do Mars Moments. I am? Yeah. I thought I was filling in for Dan. No, I'm still doing gonna... Mars Moments. Yes. I, I just we do need it all. you. <laughs> all right. Well, how old were you when you first tried to impress a girl oh, or a boy? My goodness. This kid is swinging for the fences to try and win the girl of his dreams. I'll tell you what he did coming up after the break. All right, welcome back. I'm going to educate you guys a little bit on golf because okay. you've never played, right? Putt putt. Putt putt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that doesn't really count. Oh. So real golf, you have the par, which is good. Bogies, bad. You've got birdies, which are good. Okay. Eagles, which are rare. Eagles are really great. Okay. Albatross, which is extremely rare, and holes in one just doesn't awesome. really happen. I've yeah. never had a hole in one yeah. ever. Okay. Uh, and when you're on the PGA Tour, you have shots at eagle mm -hmm. uh, occasionally. It's still kind of rare. Mm -hmm. but I feel like this guy was robbed. Take a look. And Padraig Harrington, his second shot playing with Mike Weir. Moment to go. Check this one out. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> How was oh, he? Oh no! How was he robbed? It was so close, Kiba. <laughs> it was so close. How was Words he robbed? <laughs> Who robbed so him? Was he in the cup and then out. In and out. Hey, that's, that's life. That's what he's saying right there. Uh, that's life. That's Is that what life. you said? Here we go. Let's Here's see. the slow mo. Oh. Ah. Uh, That's just not right. Yeah. I know. Well, he got it in for birdie. No, it doesn't count. It doesn't. You know, <laughs> no. if it's out, it's out. I think it has to stay in, Rob. Uh, Even I know that. That's why golf <laughs> can be so frustrating. I it's bet. the hardest game I've ever played. I've it's played every sport, and, and that's the toughest. It really is. Uh, I've played baseball, too. And when you're in the in the stadium and you huh. catch a foul ball, you usually keep it, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, you do. Not this kid. Not this kid. Take a look. Earlier in the game, Luis Rivera throws him a baseball. Now watch what he does. He catches that baseball and then turns to the group of young ladies behind him and says, Hey, ladies, would you like a ball? <laughs> look, oh, at that. look at that. Oh, she's, she's like, thrilled. oh, so sweet. But now, but did you see what happened? Yes, but I'm saying she oh, was yeah. duped. Look <laughs> at her reaction. Well, now watch it again. Okay. What do you guys think the age difference is here? I would say he's about 9 or 10. Uh, I yeah. would say she is probably... 14 or 15. Right? Right. He's got a bit of a crush going Wait, on there. But look but at him sit back down like right. I'm cool. He played it yep, off. Well, I and did then look it. at the at his friend next to him in the red shirt. He's like, "Hey, wait a second. I'm sorry. It's his friend in the in the blue shirt there next to him. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the guy in the red knows said, hey, too. Hey, what about though? me? You know. You know? Yep. What about me? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm your buddy. I came to the game with you, and you're not going to give me mm. that there, foul There's ball. an age difference now, but when he's 50, it really won't matter. It won't matter. No, it won't. <laughs> Maybe they'll end up together someday. Maybe Who knows? So. I don't know. <laughs> Until she sees the clip. Right. Yeah. Oh, then she's it's seen over. the clip. <laughs> We're going to end with this. Uh, this okay. is a good clip. All right. uh, this is uh, training your dog to catch treats in midair. Mm -hmm. You've done this. Your dogs are great at it. I know that. Yeah. This dog needs some work. At the very end, the dog gets one. But it takes some work. Go. It takes some coordination. See you here for News 10 Midday. Have a good one. It's <laughs>